A peasant had a donkey, which for years had been hauling sacks of grain to the mill without a sound of complaint. But now his strength was failing, and he was becoming more and more unfit to bear the heavy burden. Beast, what do you think you're doing stopping here? I let you rest only an hour ago. I said get a move on, you lazy old lump. Ah, you think I don't know what it is you're hoping for? Well, I can read your stupid little donkey mind. Carry the load for you, that's what you're trying to make me do. I bestow some human kindness on you, now you want to take advantage. You want to turn me into a stupid donkey like you. Well, forget it, because this is all I'm going to do for you, and it's more than you deserve. The load's going to get drenched with muddy water. Can't you think of anything but yourself? You'll ruin all my wheat. Stand up, you lazy so-and-so. What an ungrateful animal you are. Stay close to the fire and have some good hot soup. Let's face it, dear. That donkey, well, he's become a super senior citizen. Yes, that donkey can't carry half the load that he used to. It seems like it's just like Father Time came along and stole his muscles. Putting on that feed bag is all he's good at. It's a very sad fact of life, but that old animal is not going to get any younger or stronger. To continue feeding him is a waste. What's the point in keeping a beast of burden that can't work? How intelligent you are, dear. If we didn't have the donkey, we wouldn't have to feed it anymore. And wouldn't it be nice for a change to have a bit of meat on the table? Think about that. Mm. It's been many a moon since I had a little bit of meat in my old tummy. I'm sure that if we added salt to the donkey's meat, it would be very tasty. And if we ate it only once a week, we could enjoy it for half a year. <laughs> The donkey decided there was only one thing to do. He had to escape. This, of course, was easier said than done. Donkeys aren't very well equipped for climbing, but these were special circumstances. His next move was to crawl away quietly, then to get on his feet and flee to safety. That too proved easier said than done, but as the saying goes, where there's a will, there's a way. At last he was free to face whatever adventures befell him. He ran until he was too tired to run anymore. Then he stopped and slept until the dawn awakened him. Now it was time for breakfast. He had never tasted flowers like these before. Now rested and fed, he set off again for the open road. By and by, he began to feel a bit peculiar and he began to act very strangely. He felt lightheaded 
and very dizzy to say the least. He found it difficult to walk. Could it have been something he had eaten? He felt the way human beings feel when they have consumed too much wine. Those flowers he had eaten. He'd heard it said that human beings made wine from certain kinds of flowers. <laughs> if at first you don't succeed, He was a determined, indeed, a very stubborn donkey. What a strange way to walk, he thought. Yet human beings did it all the time. Perhaps it was because of all the flowers they ate. From a distance, he looked a little like a kangaroo. And then something caught his ear. He'd heard something, he was sure of it. He had to see who or what was hiding down there. What's up, dog? Please, donkey, do me a favor, will you? Don't make so much noise. Thanks for the helping hoof. I have to ask, what is it you're so worried about, dog? Did you by any chance see anyone on the way here? Think hard, it's very important. Who would I meet? I'm referring to a human being. In particular, one who's carrying a loaded gun. Oh, he hunts bunnies. Being a bunny rabbit is very dangerous when there is a hunter around. So you were out rabbit hunting with your master and somehow got separated from him. Is that what you are telling me? Uh-uh, uh-uh, you're wrong. I didn't get separated from my master, I ran away. I just happened to hear that that kind soul was going to put me out of my misery. So I decided to disappear. Oh. It is my belief that you can't teach a dead dog any tricks. I sure hope no one heard us making all that noise. Mm. 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 Not so much as a trace of a human being. Thanks. I'm very grateful to you, donkey. But I'll still stick close to the ground. Would you mind telling me why your master wanted to put you out of your misery, friend? Because I'm too old, that's why. My legs and nose don't work as well as they used to, so even if I do go hunting, I'm of no use at all. Gosh, that is a pretty sad story, dog. Yeah, it's a dog's life. A nice bowl of anything would do right now, anything but water and grass. <sighs> Say, how about we take a trip? By staying here, we could end up in a whole lot of trouble, and the two of us together, we could keep each other company. It could be fun, dog. Want to come with me? A trip? Just what do you have in mind? Hmm. How about... How about we go to Bremen? I have heard it is very nice. Bremen? Yes. We could go to Bremen and we could be musicians. It would be a lot of fun. That is a great idea. Reminds me of when I was a puppy. Donkey, I dreamed of beating on a big bass drum. The guitar is my favorite instrument. If you like, we could even try to get a job with a famous Bremen orchestra. Bremen orchestra? That's a great idea. I am glad that you agreed to come with me. We are going to be a real success. I can't wait to get there. I can't wait to join the Bremen Orchestra. Bremen, here we come. I shall be beating on the big bass drum really soon. While I strum away on my classical guitar. The dog and the donkey are off to Bremen. The donkey and the dog are off to Bremen. Also a one-eyed cat. <laughs> <laughs> a 
It was great luck running into you two. Because I am as old as old, and with my bad teeth, rather than catching mice, the time I had spent dozing next to the fireplace somehow seemed to have gotten much longer. And he got really displeased about that, my master, that is. So he was thinking about drowning me in the river. Now, I admit that I am no longer a cute little kitten, but it is not my fault that I have grown old, is it, donkey? Mm -mm. Anyway, mm. I have heard the one about cats having nine lives, but I was not going to take any chances. So I decided to head for the open road before the deed could take place. And so I shook the old bones from the warm fireside and ran away. And just at the time when I was at a loss as to which direction to go in, I heard your happy voices. I really did have a stroke of good luck. Dog and I feel lucky, too, that you decided to join us. Because the more friends we have, the more fun the trip becomes. And we'll have lots of things to talk about. When we get to our destination, you, too, can join the Brayman Orchestra. <laughs> Because cats are very good at singing songs. Me on stage with a famous orchestra? Oh, let us hurry up! can really belt it out. Bravo, 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 encore! Ah, everyone who lives in this village has got to be hap, hap, happy, because every day at dawn they are honored to hear your wonderful aria. I thank you one and all. It's on truly splendid days such as this that my voice always sounds as though I was singing opera. Beautiful. My barnyard chores prevented me from taking any formal operatic training, but as old roosters go, I've always been very ambitious. Are you musicians? You look like musicians. Mm -hmm. Well, I'd better crow as much as possible before the day is up, because there won't be much singing around here when they are done with me. Ooh. <coughs> all right, all right, just stop staring. I can't blame you. Tomorrow being Sunday, a whole lot of guests are invited to dinner, and I heard the mistress having a conversation with the cook about having me in the soup. The beheading will take place tomorrow, and a terrible sight it will be. <coughs> you look very upset. I intend to be a brave rooster till the bitter end. I'll crow until I croak. Listen, rooster. We three are continuing on to Bremen. How would you like to join our party? To Bremen? Exactly. And I think with your excellent voice, you could get a really good job singing on the stage with the Bremen Orchestra. Sounds better than me staying around here. Let's get on to Bremen. This cat seconds the motion. In my humble opinion, you'd be a most worthy asset. With you and our group, we could make the sort of wonderful music not heard anywhere else. Thank you. I am forever grateful. Plus, very moved. I thought I was close to crowing my last crow. If it hadn't been for you wonderful musicians, I would have been in the cook pot tomorrow for sure. Well, we all consider ourselves so very lucky that we came along when we did. What a great loss your crow would have been to the musical world. Yes, in Bremen, they're going to love you. <laughs> Just think of all the beautiful sounds that we four will create together. Night fell, and they chose a place to rest. The rooster, since he could fly, volunteered to stand guard high in the tree. It would be the first night that they would spend together, and they all had different thoughts on their minds. How much more walking will it take to get to Bremen? I have never been to the place myself, but I imagine it is still a long way. I was afraid you'd say that. You ought to stop thinking about things like that, otherwise you will not be able to fall asleep. I'm already unable to sleep because I'm so hungry. Well, as for being hungry, I am exactly the same as you. But you are going to need your rest if you are going to walk all day tomorrow. When you two get too tired, just climb up on my back, okay? See, it isn't like pulling hundreds of pounds of pills so tired you can hardly stand it. We thank, thank you, donkey. donkey. Hark, huh? I spy a bright light that's not very far away from here. A bright light? In the middle of this forest? It's a fire. Ahoy there, rooster. How far from here is that light? 
I'd say it's very near. If I were to crow, I guarantee if there's anyone there, they would hear me. No, no Rooster. please. We could be in serious danger. I wonder what that strange light is. I'm so nervous now I shall never be able to get to sleep. What's your opinion, dog? What should we do? In my opinion, we should go and check it out. I wonder what we are going to find. Look, it's a house in the woods. Let's get a little closer. Huh? Maybe they had something good for dinner. Maybe we'll find some leftovers. Maybe we'll find some delicious bones with meat still on them. Maybe they had a plate of raw fish for dinner. That would be the cat's meow. I thought they had learned their lesson. You're in danger when you get close to those who live in houses. Oh? Well. <laughs> hmm? Something smells real good and it is coming from that lighted window. Have the longest neck, donkey. Go on, take a look. Mm. Oh. <laughs> you would not have laughed if you had been there. I really did see a ghost. <laughs> so what did you do then, boss? Pardon me, sir, but I can see right through you. You must be somebody's great, 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 great grandfather. <laughs> I swear to you by this knife. I am absolutely certain I saw a ghost. <laughs> you mean they are robbers? Yes, and what's more, there are five of them. Those good smells we smell, is there a lot of food in there, Donkey? Far too much for the four of us. Hmm, that doesn't sound so bad at all. Not bad, not bad, not bad. If we could just get some of it before it disappears and get rid of them. Now listen closely, because here's the plan. The first thing we do is... Came at me moaning and shrieking just like a madman. Only it wasn't a madman, it was a mad ghost. I ran like a thief into the house and locked the door tight. The back doors and windows, the cellar and skylight, the chimney and fireplace. Anything that was possible to be locked, I locked. For a while, all was silent. By and by, there was a sound at a window I knew I had fastened firmly, and by my knife, I swear, it started to open itself. And then... There, right in front of me, slowly appeared the most horrible-looking ghost that eyes could ever see. Look, take a look at that. And it was going to come into the room. Look ah! there, isn't that the ghost you saw at the window? The robbers were so thoroughly frightened that they are probably still running. The four musicians returned to the little house in the woods. Indeed, they liked the house so much, they decided not to journey to Bremen after all. And they have been living here together very happily ever since. <laughs>